Good morning, fans of Privateer FX. Coming at you on the Thursday, 21 March. The day after the day of the FOMC. As everyone knows, Powell was dovish. Um, dollar got hit. Dollar EM took the brunt of it. Dollar Zar came from 1435, now it's trading 1420. Dollar Max uh, down through 88, now it's trading at 1880. Um, this looks like it's going to be short and sweet to me. Um, we did get short Dollar EM after the announcement, but we're square again. Uh, and the focus now changes a little bit to uh, some old favorite themes, namely um, risk off. What we saw with stocks was a move from 2827 up to 2849 and the next hour straight back down, uh, down to 23 where we closed. Last night we traded up to 36 now we're here at uh, 29. We think on um, on news that was the most dovish outcome possible. If stocks cannot make a new high while we're approaching this this crazy resistance area here, which we didn't even we couldn't even reach 2866, uh, it's time now to add uh, to our conviction on the short side. So, as we've said a thousand times, we have options now through 2750. Um, we sold 2700 puts against that. So, we're that's sort of a free option down there. But now we're going to try and put on um, some contracts on the e minis. So, today we'll be core short um, ES. In conjunction with that, we'll be looking at some of um, the typical risk-off currency pairs. Dollar yen looks quite negative. Uh, this starts to accelerate now down below 40. We actually printed a 40 low, which is kind of neat. Um, and so we'll be watching this 110.40 level quite closely. We'll be core short dollar yen today. Euro yen, we've been talking about it for a while. Silly print up at 78 yesterday. So now we've had like th sort of three silly prints. So we had the 57 high. We traded 69 back down. We had the 69 high. Um, we traded 78 now back down. This horizontal here. 126.10, which we were looking at on Monday, uh, now is in play. So, core short euro yen. Also, the way if you look at Boone's um, after a big move down yesterday, they're way back higher now. You see uh, rates are at eight basis points, not quite at that critical five basis points area, but they're lower. Uh, so this should help Euro Yen lower. Um, and if you really want to pour some gasoline on this fire, have a look at Aussie Yen. Had that sort of bearish engulfing yesterday. The low uh, was was um, 73. Today the low has been 71. I think now the second time through here, through 70, we should also see acceleration. You'll know. Check the story uh, and see what's going on. Obviously, Aussie unemployment came out last night. Traded up to 68 on a, what I would call a weak number. I think it was like plus 5 or something. We're expecting plus 14. Um, we're going to call this the, the near-term high in Aussie. We like Aussie to turn here. Uh, and head back lower to fit in with this sort of global slowdown sort of scare trade. Kiwi also uh, traded higher on GDP last night. 
we'll see if it can hold this bid. Um, this looks fairly strong still. I don't know what to do with Kiwi. It's in a slightly different metric than the Oz. We did print. Now we have sort of a triple top here at, we'll call it 69.50. So that's quite interesting. Um, we're not as clear on Kiwi as we are on Aussie. Uh, so Aussie N through 70 looks interesting. Kind of dovetails on Euro Yen through 10. The equivalent Kiwi Yen, which uh, I know we were talking about on Monday, looks like 76 the figure is, is the number. So we've had this consolidation and we made a new high today. Back down through 13 is bearish engulfing back down through the figure and then it's just fresh air next support uh, is a hundred points lower so key point in uh, Kiwi Yen is 76 the figure keep in mind Kiwi Yen is a bitch uh, it's much less liquid than people think um, I know some of you out there love your Kiwi pairs uh, we are quite cautious trading Kiwi because it's really needs to be a five star level for us to get involved because the liquidity is um, not not as sexy as we would like uh, what else is out there so we're core short ES um, we'll be adding through the lows here 2818 obviously if it goes down there in the twilight zone here sort of early Europe with less liquidity it's less powerful you want to save a little bit of uh, juice because your stop really has to be above this high now, 28.50. So you can't load the boat here and leave a 30. Uh, you can't load the boat at 20, 28.20 20 and leave a, a, a 30 handle stop. You know, your risk reward is just upside down there. So you're trying to get yourself into a core short um, average and then look for a tactical short. Obviously, um, if we're forward thinking, this is some sort of pivot area. This high here, we'll, you will all remember 2820 was kind of the big pivot area. So you have to see the price, see it dance, um, and hopefully in strong liquidity, this thing goes down this afternoon, and then we look for a big Friday flush tomorrow. Anyway, so we're looking at this Euro Yen very closely, core short equities, Aussie Yen and Kiwi Yen also of interest. Um, the majors we're just going to leave alone here. Euro could do a lot of things. I, I don't think it's going to get above this 200 day, which is um, 114.81. We'll have to see. Our focus is on cross yen and ES today. So. Good luck out there, people. Make some dough. For those of you who trade Scandies, obviously the Norwich Bank, Norway is doing rates today. And also, um, for those of you who are still trading Sterling, we have this BOE stuff today. BOE rates. Um, it's today at 1 p.m. Swiss time. So, I don't even know if he's doing a press conference. We haven't really traded sterling in a while, but um, keep an eye out for that BOE today and the Norwich Bank, two central banks making some announcements. Good luck out there, people. Make some dough. I will talk to you tomorrow. Ciao.